All right, ISO number 13 on the 20 ISO sheet. First of all, we're going to get a idea for the dimensions. We're going to look down here and count the squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine units wide. We're going to go out from the side and out from the side. Looks like this is one, two, three, four units wide. And the height of the object, you don't want to use this front side because there's a curve up at the top. Well, let's use the side that's right here. So we're going to count these one, two, three, four, five. And then there's one, two for a total of seven. So we've got two and we've got five all the way up here to the top. So two and five. Okay, we've got a couple of things that we have to worry about here. Looking at the overall design of our shape, I see that we have some fillets that we need to do. Uh, I also see this slot has a hole all the way through it, so this is going to be cut and it's going to move. Uh, you're not going to have another circle side on the other side of the slot, it's just going to be an open slot. So, uh, it looks like it's, I mean, when I look at it, it looks like a square and a semicircle. So whenever we do the sketching, you're probably going to be pretty sure that there's going to be a square and a semicircle involved. There's also some fillets. Uh, I see one, two, three, four fillets that are going to be made. And there's also two holes that are going to get made as well. Okay, the holes have a diameter of two. The fillets have a, di a radius of two, okay, from the middle all the way out and the fillets up here only have a radius of one so we're going to call these up here radius one um, and hopefully we can remember all that the only thing i need to remember when starting our file is that the base of it is going to be nine by four and our general idea is going to be to make this l shape first and after you make the l shape then you can go through and create the object all the way i'm going to start at the base and i'm going to work my way up so we're going to start with the 9 by 4 going into on shape create a document we're going to call it 20 isos number 13 we have a 9 by 4 while it loads we're going to go to the sketch create a new sketch and then top make sure that you are on the top view and we're going to make our rectangle just click anywhere and 9 enter for enter and that's going to be what we have for our base click the green check mark and then go into an isometric view uh, from there we're going to extrude and we're only going to extrude up two units we're going to add that building block on the second part so extrude two units and then afterwards let's look back at our shape and it looks like it's two units across and four units deep so we're going to make a rectangle on top of here that is two units by four units we'll move back here and create a sketch and that sketch is going to go on top top view again we're going to go rectangle and you can click anywhere because you can type in the numbers two oops that one is four and four enter to enter it's going to add some constraints because we're already on top of something uh, click the green check mark when you think it looks good. Go to an isometric view. And this time we're going to go up five. So I'm going to go to the extrude button. I'm going to click on it. And then I'm going to change the depth to five. Then hit the green check mark. We should have a nice tall uh, extrusion that comes up from the block below. Now let's do the, um, I don't know, let's do the fillets first. So when we do the fillets, up at the top the radius of these fillets is going to be one and the radius of the fillets down below is going to be two so I'm going to have to make these two separate fillet operations on the top we're going to click on the fillet button make sure that our radius up here is just one and then click on the edges on the left and the right side and then click the green check mark make sure that it looks good um, there's going to be a hole right here that is two units across so that's going to give us our points to automatically add the slot in. So it's going to be really helpful to us. Uh, if you look down on the bottom, we're going to use the fillet command. And this time we're going to use a radius of two. 
type in two and then click on each edge and you should be able to make this rounded off uh, segment of the object. Click the green check mark and we should be at least kind of seeing what the shape is going to look like uh, when we're done. So let's focus on this slot that has a hole in the top. It's just an open cut. So when we go back, we're going to sketch, create a sketch, and I'm going to create a sketch on this face right here. And I'm going to move my view to where I can actually see the front of that object. Now, rectangle, I know that I have a point here and I have a point here. And this is where my object starts its cut. So I'm going to create that rectangle and it's going to move down a certain distance. And let's double check and see what that distance is. It looks like it goes down one, two squares. So it's going to be a two by two. And then we'll worry about the circle from there. So let's go. Rectangle. We're going to click on this point. We're going to drag it until it makes a two by two. So click. Make sure the top one says two. Hit enter. Make sure the bottom one says two. Hit enter and you have a square. Now we're not quite done with our sketch yet, so don't click the green check mark. We're going to make a circle that is going to be based on this square. And since we already have the square made, the middle of that uh, line segment on the bottom of the square is going to be where we're going to put our circle. So take your circle and move it out to where it reaches a diameter that is between both of those uh, sides on the square. It's going to kind of look like a basketball court uh, goal zone at this point. So trim what you don't need. So if I'm going to make this a cut, that's going to cut out completely. I don't need the top of this arch and I don't need these line segments either so I can get rid of them if the constraints will allow me, and it does. Okay, so we have this slot and it looks good. Let's test it and see if it works. I'm going to click on the green check mark and go to an isometric view. And when I put my mouse over it, I should see an enclosed region that highlights. That's a usually a good sign that whenever you are gonna make the cut, that it's gonna actually work. Because a lot of times if people make the cut and one of these line segments is missing, the extrusion is gonna fail and it's gonna come up with an error. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go extrude and we're gonna click the surface. We're gonna click remove. And then we're going to take that arrow and we're going to drag it all the way back so that gets cut all the way through. Alternatively, you could just type in the number that goes exactly that amount. Either way is fine. Click the green checkbox and we have our top hole. Now for the bottom, we have two holes that have been made. The first hole is going to be pretty easy to find because it's where the fillets curves begin. So to be able to find where that hole starts is going to be fairly easy. Uh, for the next one, we'll just use a line and we'll extend that line out from the first hole in order to get the reference point for our second hole since they're straight in a line from each other going towards the end of the slot. We're going to go back over here and we're going to go to sketch mode and we're going to make a sketch of the top of this area. Go to top view so that you can actually see what's going on. To make an easy way for this circle is to go to the end of the fillet and you're going to get a green square that shows up. Just move your mouse slowly over and that green, uh, that green square, I keep calling it green, that yellow square is going to be, uh, have a dotted line that extends out from it. And when you go far enough, you're going to hit the middle of that circle. That's where you want this hole to start. And it has a diameter of two, so click, make your circle, click again, and then type in two for the diameter. Okay, and that's going to give you your first hole. To get the second hole, let's count how far we are away. That's going to be one, two, three units away. So from the center of one circle to the center of another circle is going to be three units. So I'm going to just take a line and I'm going to start at the center and I'm going to make a line that is three units out and then I'm going to make another circle. So click the circle button and then starting where your line ends over here. It looks like it's not going to let me... There's the end point. You should be able to click on this dot. So I'm going to click the circle again and maybe it'll do it. I did it this time. So I'm going to click the uh, circle, click on the dot that comes at the end of the line, and I'm going to make this move out. Give it a diameter of two, just like the last one. Hit the green check mark. 
and we have two circles. I'm double checking to make sure that these are both enclosed. If it's a circle, it's probably going to work out okay for you anyway. And then we're going to go to an isometric view. Okay. Now, using the extrude button, we're going to click on both regions, and then we're going to click on remove, and we're going to push that down. That's going to give us a hole that goes through both of these circles. Click the green check mark, and I believe we have exactly what we need. Let's look at it back for reference. Two holes, a slot, fillets at the top with a radius of one. Um, looks like an L shape. I think it looks pretty good. Here it is, ISO number 13.